So what was wrong about going to Glasgow? You didn't say you were going. Your mother was very worried. It's the first time. You know that's not true. Were you on your own? No. I went with Mr Lamont. To help him at the library. And I'm going on his boat again today. But it's all right. You needn't worry. Tom is coming too. Take over. Okay. Let's get the feel of it. <laughs> this is great. I think we've got him hooked, Liz. Make us some coffee, eh? I want a go at helming. Do as the man tells you. There's a good girl. You shut up! Make us some coffee, then he can take over. Coming up to Holy Law, your base. Over there? Yeah, the submarine base. They sent a patrol boat out to see you off. You better come about. Get ready! You'll be better. Come and take the wheel. It'll make you feel better. Thanks. Tom? I was enjoying that. Now, follow the motion. Straight ahead. That's it. Feel better? Fine. You never felt sick on board before, have you? Must be me. It was. Leave that poor guy alone, will you? Listen, meet you. I just think it'd be better if you stayed on with us. Nothing's final yet. No. If I come here, I'm not going to be very far away. Liz can come and visit me whenever she likes. She might be glad to get away from Danny. You two are not going to want me hanging about all the time. you to feel that we're driving you out. You know, I think I know how Liz feels. Growing old is a bit like growing up again. I know how she feels. I need a bit more independence, too. That's it. Is that okay? We'll soon see. Steve. 
Wait a minute, Liz. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You're not still feeling sick, are you? No, I don't feel sick. Right. Have some lunch soon. I don't know what Liz will do if you move out. She'll get used to it. She wants her freedom, too. She'll understand. Danny's not happy. He thinks she shouldn't see that American anymore. Especially not after the Glasgow excursion. She came to no harm. I know. But Danny's right in a way. Excuse me, is the seat taken? No, no. She shouldn't be going around with an older man. Not at her age. Not alone. She's just a bit too fond of him. I think you can trust him. But can I trust her? I mean, she's always been a great one for making up stories. But lately... She's not herself. It'll pass. Yes, you're right. I hope it will. Here's your compass for checking headings while you're down here navigating. It's your depth finder, distance traveled, ship to your radio, and your navigator. You never showed me that. You're not interested in maths. I could be. This involves a lot of maths. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't be interested, would you? Girls are no use with computers. Don't you believe it, boy. Now, this can be programmed. It makes navigation a whole lot simpler. This is Clyde Coast Guard, Channel 67. Going up. Clyde Coast Guard, this is Yacht Waverley, over. This is Clyde Coast Guard, over. There's a yacht, Mary Lamont, in Gurub Bay, dressed with flags. One young girl only on deck. I have a diver down. Could you investigate? Waverley, over. Yacht Waverley, this is Clyde Coast Guard. We'll check that out. Looks like a flag day. I wonder what they're playing at. Well, that's our transatlantic friend. Yacht Mary Lamont, Mary Lamont, Mary Lamont. This is Clyde Coast Guard, over. That's right. Now you're getting the hang of it. Now, if you want to know your projected position, say in eight hours or so, There you are. Great. Not listening. No, you better keep an eye on them. I hate them! seem to be drifting. Anyone else on deck now? Just a young girl.
Have you been waiting long? Oh, no, just a few minutes. There's something happening out there. They're in trouble. I'm not surprised with Liz on board. I bet she persuaded Tom to go just so she could show off with that American. Tom should just ignore her. I don't know what he sees in her, do you? Ah, who cares? Well, I do. Oh, aye. Let's go to the marina, see if he's okay. Oh, no way, pal, no way. Get your helmet on. Holiday yachtsman. No, they think it's the Mary Lamont. Is Liz out today? Yes, yeah, she is. And Tom, too. We're moving. God. What the hell's going on up here? Tom, take the wheel. Did it slip? No, it didn't. Liz, what the hell are you playing at? Come on. See anything. I'll go down the marina. They'll know what's going on. Come on. Come on. She won't start, will she? <laughs> she won't start. We're getting too close. Liz. Elizabeth Freely, look at me. God, you could have killed us. What possessed you to do that? What in God's name possessed you? It was her. Not me. sunk the boat. I know. It was her. Not me. I never meant it. Who? Are you crazy or something? Yeah. Look us around now. No harm done, I guess. No harm? No. No harm. Get those Christmas tree decorations stowed. Why did you do it? I don't know. More trouble. Ahoy there! Do you need assistance? No, it's okay now, thanks. You slipped a mooring. Sorry to cause you so much trouble. Everything okay? Sure, thanks. I'll buy you a drink later. At the club? You'll be there.
what's happened? False alarm. We slipped our mooring and couldn't get the engine started. That sounds damn dangerous to me. It wasn't. We got it going in time. Didn't we? I think you better go home now. Well, that's just what she's going to do. Coming, Tom. You can stay and have a Coke if you want. Okay. Thanks. Come on, Elizabeth. Your mother's worried about you. Is she? It makes a change. I'll see you another day. Come on. They'll be waiting for us at the club. Don't use her as an excuse. You just wanted to spoil everything as usual. Liz. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to marry your mother. Mm. I could be fond of you, too, if you'd let me. I don't have to like you. I hate you, and I wish you were dead. Feel better now you've got that off your chest? No. Cheers. <laughs> You'll need to get that engine checked. I will. I thought I got it right. <laughs> Maybe Liz put the bad eye on it. Maybe. You know, the kids at school call her a witch. And she plays up to it. She ill-wished one of our teachers once. <laughs> I remember his car kept breaking down. <laughs> I'll not go back on that boat in a hurry. What? I'll not go back on that boat in a hurry. Well, that's just as well. Why? Because... Because your mother and I think that you shouldn't see any more of that man. He's much too old. He is only teaching me to sail. Well, that's what we have decided. And you're just going to have to accept it. That's for your own good. I won't accept anything you say. I hear you're looking for an old schooner. Yeah. The Granny Kempark. Aye, well. That's her old bell up there. You're kidding. You're not? That's great. Where did you get it? it belonged to my father. He gave it to the club. Do you know anything more about it? Like, where she went? After she left here. Italy, I think. Yeah, I heard that. How'd your father get the bell? He worked on her before she went. A present off the German had bought her. He changed the name, you see. He had a place somewhere near Ancona, I believe. Ancona? Can't remember what he called her. Couldn't say if she's still there. That's great. I think we should do a swap. I'll give you one from an American schooner that traded here. And you let me have this one from my museum back home. What do you think? I don't know what the club would say about that. <laughs> Drink up. Have another pint. Well, come on. Tell us. What happened? Nothing. They were nearly on the rocks, that's all. Liz? He says I can't go sailing with Mr. Lamont anymore. Tell him I can. I think he might be right, Liz. Gran? Oh, there's no use asking me now. 
Why not? You've always known best what I can and can't do. Why should it suddenly be him? He's got no right. He's got every right. Anyway, your grandmother won't always be here. Danny. What do you mean? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. It's just that I was thinking of getting a place of my own, that's all. And I'll be here. You'll get used to it. No, I wouldn't be very far away. <laughs> it wouldn't make much difference. Won't it? Listen. You can't tell me what to do anymore. I won't go back to school. And I won't stop sailing for you. You don't rule my life anymore. Any of you. Unless you come back here. No! That was tactful, Danny. I thought we agreed that Rose would tell her. Look, I'm sick to death of all this. It's always Liz and her feelings. Well, I've got feelings too. Do you think it doesn't hurt me when she tells me that she hates me? They'll not stop me now. The lads, they sail, but I'm on bide. A lassie cannot turn the tide. Why not? They'll need to burn me to stop me now. <laughs> <laughs>